Hello and welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I'm the Emperor and we're playing Crusader Kings 3 down here in the Iranian Intermezzo. An early start and we have managed to create ourselves a duchy and well our father just died kind of unexpectedly honestly. He died on his wounds just recently. So we have taken over here as Sherwin Rostamzare of the Bavandid Shadam. So we are this here and we're facing our very own little rebellion which has 147% of our military power which of course is a bit of a problem and it has exactly one member this guy who is the absolute strongest vassal we have which is a bit of a problem and a problem of our own making as well but we do have a bunch of outside alliances which we will hopefully rely on to squash that but for now, we'll have to kind of wait. And our only way of really dealing with all of this is to push our men-at-arms. Which is what we're currently doing. Like, we, we bought up a whole bunch of uh, soldiers. So, hopefully, we will get some more troops in here. And we're using this guy to push our levy reinforcement. Though, those are pretty well fixed. Does he also reinforce... No, garrison size and levy reinforcement range. So... He doesn't actually help us replenish our men-at-arms, so those we're just gonna have to wait for him. There's a betrothed can marry, we'll take it, though it's with a very small little alliance, but we'll deal with it. So we're just gonna wait for our little, for our little rebellion to pop up and deal with that. Um, befriend gets prestigious image? I mean, sure. We'll just use it. So why do we have the befriend scheme? We got the befriend scheme because our clan situation right now is friendly, which unlocks. Uh, we can see down here somewhere. Wasn't it here? I thought that was unlocked here. Hmm. Well, I must have been mistaken. I thought it was unlocked with this. It might have been unlocked with the intermezzo thing. Let's see. Faith effects, other effects. Unlocks the abandoned hook interaction. Uh, there comes our little rebellion, so let's deal with that. Uh, we shall rally the troops. We'll pause here. And I'm still dealing with how do we how do we get stronger as a clan? Uh, because I'm actually not quite sure how we'll manage. So we're gonna raise our armies here for sure. Right there. And our ally is willing to come. So, we are in a decent-ish position. We're gonna lead ourselves because we're actually a really, really, really good leader. We have a very high skill for that. And we're just gonna let our enemy do whatever. Because we're sitting in our own camps here and in the mountains. So if he wants to attack us, he, he can attack us. Otherwise, we're just gonna wait for our allies to show up before we do anything. And he is coming to attack us, and we are going to probably lose, because he has a better army commander and more soldiers. So the only thing we could try and do against this is get us some mercenaries, which, interestingly enough, we actually have enough money for. So let's check out his little army there. So he has a lot of pike and a lot of heavy armor, heavy infantry. So getting horses would be bad. And the only next thing we can really afford is the heavy armor, which does counter his pike. So we'd get 700 soldiers in, which could turn the tide on this one. The 163 gold, and I think we're gonna do it. Uh, we also get a flexible leader. Forest fighter doesn't really help us much. So we'll go with it. And thus immediately turn the tide of the battle. And he runs into it into us still because he can't turn his army around anymore. So hopefully uh, we put also the, the man we hired in to be our leader. So we are definitely winning this even without any involvement. Of course this was a lot of money for us to spend. But with how little we spend on average per month. I'm somewhat confident about this situation. So we could follow them around now, and I think we should follow them around. 
and just try and catch them wherever they end up walking. And we'll just keep that lad as our leader. Okay, now he's running away. So we're gonna go take his capital. I'll be friends, give you son. Good evening, Captain Bira. It's your first work day and probably will miss today's stream. Could you say hi in chat? I will I will absolutely hi in chat. If anyone comes around for chat, I'll I'll tell them hi from you. And have a good first work day. I don't know what that means, but I hope you have a good one. I'd sure hope you have a good one. Oh look, he's he's standing there and attacking us, so we're gonna go and fight him for sure. I don't want him to siege anything, and we still have a bunch of combat uh, battles one type thing going on. We do have to siege him eventually, but for now we're gonna fight him. Is is your first real job, or what are we looking at here? Like your first full-time job? Anyway, I'm sure you're gonna do great. Gonna do just just fine. So he has a little bit of advantage here, but due to our numerical superiority, that doesn't help him much. And we do have far more knights than him, so... Ah, perfect. We took him in, in the battle as our prisoner, so... Uh, now that's done, we disband all, and we will also execute this man. <laughs> uh, I'm, not, I'm not messing around here. So, he's a criminal will cost us some tyranny. The only issue we have is, of course, if we do kill him, his heir and everyone will also hate us a little bit. He does have a bunch, so... But he only has one son, as far as we can tell. So he's gonna inherit everything still. Um, doesn't help us much. So instead, we're just gonna move into the dungeon. Good evening, Asokatano. I'm supposed to tell you hi from Captain Bira because he can't join us tonight. He got to work. Um, how are we doing? We, uh, we're doing fine. We just managed our little rebellion here from our way overpowered uh, vassal. We're still trying to figure out how we become stronger as a clan ruler, which is a little bit of a mystery to me because the succession type doesn't really lend itself to it, but you do need direct holdings to be strong uh, because your vassals almost contribute nothing, like, nearly nothing. So, we're gonna look through some technologies, some other things, some uh, cultural issues, maybe. Maybe we can diverge culture or something. And then we can see what's going on with that. How are you doing? You having a good time? Your campaign's going well? Ah, yeah, we also took this up here, which doesn't really help us much. Okay, so... I, I want to I wanna look into this. I want to figure out what's going on. So we have nothing here that's really directly related to clan. I don't even know if there is something directly related to clan. So could we, for example, uh, exchange this? Because <sighs> I'm not really using it. Is there anything with, with, with clan in warfare? So we're just going to go look through here and, and look for the word clan, but I don't think there is. Only the strong knights must have at least... Oh, knights effectiveness plus 100%, but levy, fi uh, levy size minus 25, that's actually a big issue. I don't think we have something like that. Warriors were married, maybe? Nah. I don't think there's anything really for clan. Could get for the desert warrior thing if we, if we stick around here. But the only way I see is hold as much as you can directly. Okay, we have a son and a daughter. We'll go with Gudashari name. And an ancestor here. Saba, Abbas and Saba. May you grow strong and wise, and that is for us to generate us some more soldiers here, and also get us some more alliances in. Let's see if we can't get anything interesting. Shaikh of Baghdad, okay. I think we'll take that. 
We need alliances. We need them so badly. Like, these are the two things that we figured out. Hold a lot of titles yourself somehow and make them survive succession. And um, have a lot of alliances. So children are, of course, pretty, pretty sensible to have. Let's get our diplomacy focus. It doesn't really matter, sadly. So, alliance power, Beylik of Kurdistan. Okay, that's not bad. That's pretty good, but he's very old, so he's gonna die soon. That would be a short-lived one. Uh, so instead, we can take the Emir here. Could go for matrilineal marriage that immediately discounts the bigger ones, so... Let's go for this guy. 2,000 soldiers. We'll take it, and they're pretty close. Like, they're right next to us. That's pretty... Pretty decent. So our neighbor is fighting a little bit of a rebellion right now. Which gives us the Conquer County goal. Or a good solution for that because they have zero allies. And with our hired soldiers we could still just get in there. And of course we want the most juicy bit of it. Of course we want the most juicy bit of it. So we'll just fight for that. Let's check what his war is about so we don't accidentally kind of run into the same thing. Okay, he's just fighting everyone, all of his vassals. So he won't mind if we take the biggest piece of the pie. Is that a good thing to have? Let's see. Oh yeah, that would be actually be a pretty... Good main holding. Though, I do like this mountain thing that we got here. Like, that's... That's pretty good. I'm... I'm, I'm feeling disinclined to give that up. But we kind of keep... We need to keep conquering, really. Because every time there's a succession, we're gonna lose bits. And we can't take them back either. So we'll just have to keep conquering. And we already have a piece here, interestingly enough. Not quite sure. All right, we 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 took it from Armenia eventually. Uh, so taking a neighboring piece there just makes a lot of sense to us. So we'll go for what is this here? Tabriz. Eighty-six. Religion, piety. All right. I mean, we're fighting a literal child, pretty much. We'll just wait for his armies to move around there. And we'll put a new flag up there. And rally our troops on this. Let's see. Let's call in one ally, maybe. We're not gonna ransom him. For sure not. Gonna call in one ally, maybe. Something smallish? That doesn't cost us too much. I mean, this guy costs us nothing, but he brings 1,800 troops. I really like the music, though. It's, uh, it's refreshing after all these years of feudals. Of feudal musics. Okay, we have to kind of wait for his troops to go away. Or rather for our enemies, enemies troops. We have a little Rostam. Ali Zalil, he shall be called. And he'll be yet another knight. That's... We just go full on war focus down here. Okay, I don't want to walk through them. I want to siege this thing. Why do we not get a dotted area for that though? That confuses me slightly. Okay, let's get you a spouse with some alliance power. Suraid Emirate. I'll take it. I'll take that. Let's check our courtiers if there are people out there that are not yet married. Now uh, you're a guest, I don't care. Oh, you're not married. Let's get you matrilineal somewhat in. Oh, hello, 27. Are you also a good soldier overall? Prowess 2. 
I mean, he's a fantastic commander. Look at all those traits. He doesn't need to be a good knight. He just needs to be in my court and be a very, very, very good general. That's a fantastic man. Okay, here's another one to marry off. What do we need for him? Doesn't really matter. We'll just get something with good inheritable traits if we can. Fecund. A little bit too old. So... Chance of children, medium. That's good enough for us. That's good enough for us. So she accepts. And he accepts. So now we can put this guy, this absolute Chad. I mean, he's a military engineer. He's a desert warrior. He's unyielding and he's an organizer. Like, excuse me? <laughs> he got all the traits. Every single trait you can get, he has it. Make some use of our mercenaries, right? I mean, we got them. Might as well use them. Okay, chivalric dominance. That's not even a, a question. Knight effectiveness plus 75% less gold. And I wanted to check on the accolades, but I don't think we can actually do that. 23 months left to our mercenaries. I don't think we have any accolades that we can actually have. Where is my accolade option? Am I blind? You are forced to fight. Everyone who hates us is forced to fight. Basically. Have a good time, children. Yeah, we're gonna send off our kids to have a play date. They might get some stuff out of there. There comes our ally. Just to be sure, you know, just to be certain. I don't want to leave this up to chance at all. And we are now finally seeing the dotted border. I don't know why we didn't see it earlier, but... It is what it is. So now we got this. Our ally is fighting a, a siege battle that he will not be able to win anytime soon. But they're here. They joined. They're good lads. And we'll make it easy for ourselves because he took that and we'll just go and take it from him then. Let's see it. A faction targeting us has been disbanded. We love to hear it. How's that siege coming? Oh, look at that. We caught her personally. Instant win. Two wars, two instant wins. That's the luck of the draw. And that takes us to Tabriz and Alhar. Or Ahar. And we can only hold one of these, so we're gonna give Ahar away. And we'll put this guy on dealing with some of the control here. And we'll check our succession. See who's gonna inherit that one title there. Ahar, so our son here is gonna get Ahar. Might as well give him the title immediately. Doesn't really matter. So now we're on two out of two. So we could push for stewardship predominantly to have a higher domain holding limit. But this already helps us. I mean, this right now has mercenaries in there. I believe, like the, the armored footman. Yeah, the armored footmen are mercenaries, so I think our our power no. Actually, yeah, six hundred ninety nine are mercenaries, so we are not quite as powerful as we currently look. But we made ourselves a little bit more powerful because this thing here now uh, that helps. And actually, it's a pretty good holding. I, I I must say, it's a pretty darn good holding. Got the duchy building. Got two building slots. And overall, there are three more holdings to be built. So actually, I think that's, that's a really, really good capital to have. I'm considering moving. I'm considering moving heavy because this isn't really great. 
Ah, thank you so much, my dear child. You were good to us. I think I clicked something away I shouldn't have clicked away. We'll never know it's gone now. So, do we go here? It's not in the mountains, so it's not as defensible. Which, personally, I quite appreciate if it is. It has eight development. What do we have right now? We have seven. So we wouldn't lose anything there. The culture is a different one, though. So we would have to switch that over. But I'm considering it. I'm considering moving here. We're mainly lowered in our income and everything due to low control, so this is kind of bad, but it's gonna get better. Um. Ah. I don't know. I, I kind of like to sit on what I have, but this already has so many building slots. Though that could be an issue with the with the culture. Let's see. Do they have the thing where they get an extra building slot? Yeah, okay. So that doesn't matter. That's a culture thing. So it doesn't actually have more building slots than what we have. It's just a matter of their culture already having that. And we don't have that yet. So it's not really... Not true for us. So we don't have ledger yet. We're working on city planning for some reason. Why are we working on city planning? I don't know why we're working on city planning. I know we're working on a ledger. Just gonna take us a whole lot longer. This is our influence. We're being exposed to that idea, so nothing really we're putting in, in there. The only reason I would want to move is because we need to build a temple, but then we can have two additional holdings in here that are ours, and eventually we can take that one back as well. So that's a pretty big thing compared to this thing, where we have one more holding and that needs to be a temple. Like we... Yeah, we have to... They always need to have a temple and a city, and after that you're kind of free. We're not gonna extend our mercenary contract because we cannot afford it and we really need to save money. So switching over here for the building slots doesn't matter. We do have a... No, actually we don't have a duchy building slot here. I think it does matter. That's a difficult choice right now. Chat! What do you say? Do we move our capital? Do we move our capital? Gain 100 martial lifestyle experience for what? Can teach someone to command. They don't even show up. Ah, our half-brother. Can teach him to command. This Marshall goes up and he gets some opinion of us. Sure. They are all fodder for our wars anyway. This will make him a better commander. Lovely. If we're lucky, this rebellion will win. Are ah, we not? Little girl is winning. Let, let me set up a poll over on, on the Twitch here. New poll. Should we move capital? Yes. No. <laughs> and we'll do it a I don't know. We have we have time. Let's make it a let's make it a three minute poll. There. Let's see what people say. Let's see what people have to say. That is a very long ass title. Tabaristan Banebshan. Tarabistan Banebshan. That's Duchess. Uh, what is this? Challenge how said. You want. Uh, uh, what? Okay, you want to challenge me to become the house head. We may ask for something in return. We decline. He will attempt to persuade us. Oh. 
Okay, I've never done this. So declining costs us a lot of prestige, which isn't great. We'll just... Do I want... <laughs> That's an interesting uh, chain. I've never seen this, so we're just going to go with accept and see what happens. I don't think it's a good thing ahead of us. Let's have some betrothed Mary. And we formed an alliance with this guy who absolutely hates our guts. Because to him, we're a turncoat because we spoke for the Caliphate and not against it. Oh, we can station more minute armed regiments, right? Yes, sure, that makes sense. So this guy gets plus one, plus one point six there, and this guy gets plus two point five, plus one. So we'll put our archers over there. So you're winning, huh? I wouldn't have thought. Well done, you. That's crazy. Who are you? I don't know, but you're big. But you're not. Oh, what is this? That is ours, isn't it? <laughs> okay, challenge brought. How's Bavandid? Karin has arrived in Firim to give his spurious logic for taking over as the leader of House Bavandid. I'm polite enough, embracing him before he talks. He speaks of the history of our house, from the days of Kavad uh, to the present. I await patiently for the crux of his argument. Long last it comes. Brother, look to your health. I can take your burden. I look at him blankly. Is that really all he had to say? You're right. You should lead your house. You should lead the house. Well, but I'd like to remind him. A worthy leader surely has the coin to back up his word. Perhaps you could take over, but I want your guarantee. No, I don't think so. Like, I'm not convinced. I'm I'm in my prime here. I'm in my prime. I'm fine. I'm four years older than him. What, what is he talking about? So we're just going to go with that. No, no, I don't think so. And we'll see what happens. Uh, the poll has ended. Did anyone even vote? <laughs> uh, no. Well, darn. Chat, chat isn't with me tonight. So wait, so this, this, this is alone here. This is alone. Well, not for long, it ain't. 121 prestige? Oof. But we can totally do it our own. Even if he does hire mercenaries, that's fine. So I think we'll do it. We gotta constantly grow now. There's really nothing for it. And he needs to go back managing our levies. I think the control issue is done and fine. I really like that music. So much better than the loud fanfares that never stop on the Christian end. Okay, so we got 75% for defeating his 15 men. <laughs> uh, because we captured someone important there as well. Inside our realm. Let's negotiate some alliances inside our realm here. Let's get our kids on the t to the table there. At least the strong ones. Very good. So let's check our uh, taxation place again, because that's also where we get this. I think everyone is in here. Like, we don't have anyone who's not in there. And how do we increase this? How do we increase this? There are taxation decrees. But none of these ever give us more soldiers. They only give us more or less money and some other things. But how do we get more soldiers out of them? I feel like I'm missing something big. More perks. Never back down. Friendly fate or casualty. Minus 20%. Advantage. Plus 5. Yep, yep, yep. We'll take all that. Thank you. Let's make everything bigger, everything better. 
Like, overall, we're kind of competent. But I feel extremely weak. Tamina. Lovely name. That's another daughter. Little albino girl, huh? Well, let's go make you intriguing because albino leads to natural dread. So I feel like a shadow, a white shadow lurking in the shadows. You know, that sounds, that sounds spooky. The Shikedom of something. 800 something. I don't know where that is. But he is robust, so that's fair enough. Will he marry us like this as well? Mm, no. Ah, oh, wait, it's fine. We don't need to. I'll go with this lad. It's 900 soldiers. Nothing to scoff at. They're free in the case of defense. So we'll just finish this up. Take it over. Eight soldiers. Three knights and five, five onagas. He's not really a threat to us. Not truly. I think we're gonna move our capital to Tabriz, after all. But we do have to convert the culture there. So maybe we should get that going. So we said promote culture there. And that's gonna take him three years. Ah, uh, no. It's gonna take him nine years. And once the culture is Persian, uh, Dalmatian. Dalmatian? No, 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 no. What is our culture? Dalamite. Or Dalamite. I don't know how to pronounce it. Looks like Dalamite, but... It sounds like I'm purposefully mispronouncing Dynamite. Okay, let's see. Arrange the guard patrols. That will keep the vassal in line. What do you want? Chance of increasing our marshals. Marshal by one. Speak favorable of me as you tr as you travel. Yeah. He's old. He's gonna die soon. Let's take the prestige. That's my only chain of thought here. He's too old to improve him. Would be cute, but... Uh, no, no, no. We'll take that prestige. Our glory is wildly known. Widely known. Would be fun if it were wildly known. We're such a wild lad. So, that's where we're going. Alright, alright, alright. Another pregnant... Spouse? Well, we have a bunch, and we don't even have all of them yet. There are still some to come. Oh, look! He got himself some mercenaries right there. Didn't help him. Big shame. So sorry you never got to use them. So we now have taken over Gunja. Let's check who gets that in succession. This kid here. So we're not... Hmm. He gets this and that. So he gets two at the moment. So we're just going to give him that. Doesn't really matter. Oh, he had to take he had to give up this one as well. Okay. So he's standing to inherit this. I can't give him that. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, let's see. Maybe we can use our spouse to give us some managed domain to push us over the edge here. Nope. That doesn't help us. So we go back to assist ruler is probably better. But the problem that th the negatives here are super hard. Like, that is a really big impact. You wouldn't think it, but... It's a really big impact, because now this entire building is completely disabled. And we get nothing out of it. Nothing. From a vassal, at least we would get something. But here we get nothing right now. So I think we're gonna move our capital. And just give this county to the other one. So we can keep both these here. That's better for us anyway. So... Okay, we're gonna move our realm capital. Schwenk. And we're going to keep these two. And we're going to give Firim to our 
to our son. Ah, oh, no, he's, he's slated to get Firim now. Ay, ay, ay. It's really only stewardship to increase this. Technology as well. Yes, there's also technology. What innovations gives us more domain limit gavel kind? But we're a little bit far away from that. A little bit far away from that. Then again, we're also kind of away from ledger. And gavel kind is kind of more important to us, honestly. So we're going to switch away from ledger and hope that maybe gavel kind will be our thing. So right now this is disabled, which is a big negative that hurts us a lot. You wouldn't think so, but it does. Uh, let's put this guy back on increasing control here so we get more money out of it. Our income right now is pretty low because we had some men at arms to replenish. But let's keep looking around there. Because I see a whole bunch more lovely little... Lovely little counties here that could use a new ruler. You know. What is this here even? What's going on there? That's still her, so we still have a truce with her. But she's starting to lose now. So I think we could just slurp all this up, up there. These are Christians as well, so... Does it cost us the same? 127 prestige. 507 soldiers. Like, that's nothing. It's not really part of the whole caliphate struggle thing. Oh, there's a... 2,000. How do you have... How do you have 3,000 soldiers from here? What's that possible? Okay, he holds everything. That's how that's possible. But how can you hold so much? You must be way over your domain limit. Can we see his domain limit? Yeah, here. He's over. I think we need to push more stewardship in our lands. This guy can't help us. He can't increase our stewardship rank, which is interesting. All the others have something where they could potentially help you. Oh, no, actually they don't. <laughs> we need better women, better steward women. That's what we need. Who can we ransom? Ah, oh, yeah, sure, I don't care. So, I think we first take these. These are really, really obvious choices to go and get. But I personally can't hold them anyway. So, we'll then get a lot of counts that don't contribute anything. How is one supposed to be a clan ruler? Um, hmm. So, this time it's a little bit more even here in the intermezzo. Maybe concession eventually, you know? Just put an end to everything. I don't know how this works. So far we have gone from unrest to stabilization and back. So... Sheesh. What do you want to get free? Who's this? Uh, have him. I don't know, nor do I care. Okay, here's a little county rank boy. Costs us 98 piety because he's of our religion. Definitely someone we can beat. We're just kind of growing like wild wherever we can go. Look at this. 1,500. That's... It's crazy. We could grow a little bit here. Take a good chunk. But I'm not convinced.
Let's check this clan thing again. Like, I don't, I feel like, I feel like we're doing something wrong here. Like, Levy's multiplier minus 20%. Minus 75%, minus 30%, minus 20%, minus 20%. Here you just get more money. <laughs> uh, it's... It's baffling to me. So they can this gives more. Costs us prestige. Oh. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> welcome, good evening, thanks for the follow, it's me, Germany, well, welcome, Bruder, <laughs> how are you doing tonight, all good? So, there's literally only this thing that gives us a plus levies, only this, all of the others are either minus or something. So we currently have this, which doesn't give us minus, but it's just so little. Why are they contributing so little? Okay, let's check our taxpayers. I understand that the ones that have a big hatred of us are not going to say send much. That's normal. You know? Oh, good evening, Ruku Second. Welcome back. So nice to have you. So I understand that the guys that hate us give nothing, and I think that might actually be the problem. If you look at this, like this guy here, um, how much does he have? 631, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000. I, th I think it might be their opinion of us. I think that might be the main problem. So, oh, rookie second, you're, you're pushing the Civilization VI game roster challenge. Very good. I'm supposed to say a uh, good evening from Captain Bira, and I bet he appreciates it because he has been the one pushing that challenge goal thing for a long, long time. <laughs> and I think he has been the only one. Okay, so let's use our little befriend thing if we can. And let's get some more friends here in our vassals, which... Ah, all of these are children, so we can't befriend them. That's good. We could befriend him, but... We could extol his virtues. That gives us opinion of him, but we don't have the uh, required amount. So, oh, thank you so much for the gift subs, rookie second. I appreciate it, and everyone who got the gift subs, uh, make sure to thank rookie second for the gift sub. That is fantastic. Thank you so much. Uh, so, all right. <laughs> Just one this time, as good enough. Good evening, Athos Discordia. Thank you for the follow and welcome. We're trying to do our best here. Um, I mean, just one. Don't 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 put it down like that. It's it's one. It's one more than I ever had before. Thank you so much. <laughs> Appreciate it. Um, huh. So he's fifteen. I can't befriend him. Trying to befriend a guy who hates us with minus a hundred. I think, like. Let's demand this conversion. Maybe that helps us a little bit, but I don't, let's check what... Why do you hate us so much? Definitely want to see it on the council. Sure. You're you're not a terrible marshal. Maybe we give you the marshal spot. Though our current marshal is pretty good. So, why do I never find the council? <laughs> so we'll switch them out. We'll put this guy in. It's not great. It's not great. But he's not giving us any negative possibilities. So he's just above where he needs to be. Uh, 15, I think, is the lowest that he needs to be. So that's 40 off. 40 gone. Uh, he's a detractor while we are a supporter. A supporter. How much is the religion issue? Asharism is hostile. 20. Let's go. Let's get that conversion going. Let's try at least. We can also start the swaying already. Oh, God. I clicked... The pop-up came while I clicked on the other thing. Sometimes it happens. Why? So we're going to start swaying him a little bit. See what we can do. Of course, the failed conversion attempt now uh, adds another minus 10. So good luck to us. Uh, we could grant him a pardon, which gives him a whole 15 opinion. A whole 15. That's 
Oh, oh, oh. No, I thought I saw something cool, but I didn't actually see something cool. 915 soldiers. 1,000. 1,000. Oh, 500. That's not so big. That's not so big. We, we're we're going to go there. I think we're going to go there. I think, I think, I, 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 I think we're going to go there. I think we're going to go there. Like, it's, it's so splintered around us. Someone needs to hoover up all these, all these little fractions here. We can't leave it like that. It's, it's so, it looks so untidy. <laughs> so let's go take this thing. Let's add another flag down on this border. And we'll go down. But all I really wanted to do is improve our relationship with our vassals. That's all I wanted to do. Look at our fantastic lad. Movement speed. Retreat loss. Advantage in desert. Plus two. Advantage in desert. Plus five. Look at where we're going. To the desert. Another little Rossum, our son. Very good. Oh, he's a quick one. Very good. Let's make him a steward. Not that it's gonna matter much, but... Let's make him a steward. And we're still looking for halfway decent alliances. And that's a terrible alliance, but she's Amazonian, so we'll take that. All right, very good. Has anyone in chat played clan so far in Crusader Kings 3? I don't know if that is something people do commonly, but we're figuring out. Okay, we completely destroyed the army because we destroyed them in the very first battle phase. Completely took them out, so... Uh, that... That gives us a... 50% instantly, and of course, we don't need to worry about anyone being at our doorstep anymore. It's a long siege, eight months. That's because we have zero siege weapons at the moment. Not a single one. Oh, they... Did they shrink or grow? Someone grew, I think. And this here... Still ongoing. I don't actually know what they're still fighting about, but... We'll just push in every which direction. We just need land. And we need, ideally... Some vassals who don't hate us. Are you 16 now? Very good. So if you're 16, I should be able to go ahead and befriend you. But... I'm not. I don't know why. Okay. Someone brought in allies? Who are now immediately attacking us because they literally have no choice. They have to fight us. Otherwise they can only really wait around. Friendly exchanges. Someone is getting some opinion modifier bonus of us. Very good. Our son learned a language. We like that, sure. Ooh, we captured an enemy combatant, but he's not great, so we're not gonna... We're not gonna go ahead and try and put that lad in our armies. So, let's see. Can negotiate some more alliances, which is lovely. But... Okay, we're swaying him, we're swaying him, we're throwing, we're throwing some droplets of water on that searing hot stone over there. Let's demand some victory and disband our troops. Okay, so who gets everything? Let's see. Succession. Now, actually... Okay, he gets these two. And our boy gets everything else. So we could just push him a little bit. Let's just give him the whole thing. So he's, he's becoming a strong lad. We should probably negotiate an alliance here. And we can ask him to join my side. What that what does that mean? Does that mean in the in the conflict thing? Are you a detractor of the caliph? No, you're a supporter. 
We're a supporter. What does that mean? What does join my side mean? I don't see that option anymore. <laughs> ah. Alright, maybe it was in lieu of alliance? Something? Okay, so you lost. You lost to him. Lost to them, so they lost a little bit of land there. Try and fight for a county, but that doesn't make much sense. They are pretty strong. They are all pretty weak. I think we should take it. Just push in there. And of course, go for a holy war for the duchy. That doesn't make sense for us. The conquer Casus Belli is our friend at the moment. But I'd, I'd rather push toward more... More bits and pieces in the Islamic world, really. Like this thing here. Okay, you have an ally. These two are allied. And we don't... Uh, okay, we, we don't have enough prestige. Not enough piety, so we do have to go north. Or we attack Armenia again. <laughs> of course we could do that as well. Oh. Look at that. That would be lovely. Whole duchy out of there. Mm. So we have triggered a a little bit of a catalyst thing. So we gave the stabilization phase plus 10. Through our winning a war there. Because we're a supporter. So everything we do here. Winning wars, losing wars. other A whole lot of interactions. Pushes those needles around. And I don't want to fight someone where we need an ally. Oh, here's this option again. What does that mean? Comes a supporter of Caliphal authority. He might accept 90% and it costs 150 prestige. That's kind of crazy. It's a lot of prestige to spend for some Caliphal support. Not so sure if you even want that. And this lad here is strong. Strong as heck. Why can't I holy war you? What are you? A levy. Right. Islam is really, 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 really crazy. Actually, no. Ashari is pretty, pretty dominant everywhere. It's not so bad. It's just up here that it's completely broken and ripped apart. What do you want? Activity invitation to a grand wedding. Okay, sure. We're gonna go. Ah, uh, we might not. 11 high danger events. I mean, we could get a caravan guard. A uh, caravan leader. You know. That helps. That makes all the difference, really. Let's see. Do we have any free... Make haste, yeah. We can do that because we have the trait Craven. So safety goes down, but speed goes up. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, we could get some captains, but that's not really where the danger lies. The danger is all here. So if we get a mountaineer, that reduces it slightly. Uh, I think we need a desert person. A desert warrior. Oh yeah, that makes all the difference. So I think we're gonna go. Why not? He never had fun. He never went anywhere. Let him go somewhere. Let's ha let, let allow him to have a thing. <laughs> to, pff, we'll just go for recreation. I don't know. It's, it's silly. But it's okay. Okay, we could build something here. And we think we definitely should. So, what do we have? Fort level plus one. Stationed heavy infantry. Oh, we have we have archers here. That's not good. We should probably switch that out. But we also need something that gives us more money. Desert agriculture. Interesting. A feast is cheaper. Uh, what? How does it look like in the later stages? 
Little development growth, a lot of money. Let's see what else we have. Cavalry. Stationed light cavalry, stationed caval cavalry, camel cavalry. Knight effective need plus 2%. Though. That's actually pretty darn good. Oh, it goes immediately up to 4% on the next one. The money doesn't change much, but if we wanted to go for camel cavalry, like definitely get that. I think at the moment I just want something that gives us money. Uh, ideally, kind of quickly. So it's between cattle pastures and desert agriculture or farms and fields because that gives the immediate greatest money push. But then it kind of slows down a little bit. But overall, I think nothing really gives as much as farms and fields. Like that's where the money really is. So I think we're going to go with farms and fields. And now we're poor. So now we need to save for our emergency fund again before we can spend again. Punish the destitute. It gives us 50 piety to punish the destitute. But it causes us a lot of stress because we are we are cynical. So what do we get? We spend 100 piety which we do not have. It's a stewardship challenge. We might gain ancient treasure or 15 gold and we lose some stress. Or we go with this, lose a lot of money, which we also don't have, and we forgave the desperate. Nah. The Duke deserves their cut. Times are hard, dear Duke. Our families must be fed, and we are not doing harm to anyone among the living. Sure. <gasps> Ooh. Look at that thing. What? Yo, that's crazy. I'll take that hit to piety. Pfft. This is better than God. <laughs> Though we can't actually use it at the moment because we don't have a pedestal yet. We don't have a courtroom. We're not a king. But it's there. We know it's there. Can we reforge it maybe? We'll see. Uh, ditch. Soon thereafter, I hear a loud cracking sound, like that of wood breaking. Step out of the grass. My wagon wheel. I'm sorry, my liege. It was my turn as a lookout, and I fell asleep at the reins. Ah, oh, curses. Our travel is delayed by five days or by two if we want to take the prestige hit. Ah, we're going to be late. That's fine. So the problem is with being late. Eventually, we can't do that too often. Eventually, we're literally going to be too late. So can I reforge this? No, but I also don't have an antiquarian. Let's put one in. Who's maybe a little bit younger with average skill. And we have a good selection here. So that's nice. Uh, can't reforge or repair because it's at maximum durability. But that's cool. I like that. I've never even gotten something nearly as good out of a random event. On a travel, no less. Like, what? So question is, do we fight these guys and these guys? I think yes, but we also have to... How are these sons not in our succession there? Oh, this son is, actually. So let's go conquer something for him. I can't declare wars while I'm on an activity? Okay, sure. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. So we're still trying to swear this guy. <laughs> I mean... You know... We're totally gonna be buddies. Oh, Lord. Give me strength. Okay, let's check our, our taxpayers again. Follow that child. An unusual encounter. Did you hear that? My duke? As I turn around, I'm suddenly face to face with a young girl who must somehow have walked right past Vahid. Sound child immediately vanishes deeper into the caves. We must leave this place. We go because, well, 
we're gonna go with the RP selection here. And because it's got lots of green text and we like th us the greens text. So we're not gonna follow some child into some cave. No thank you, that's dangerous. So who here is old enough to become a friend? Brother. Uh, no. Let's see. A feast for the falcons. We've seen bodies laid out orderly on the rocks. Vultures and falcons pull at the meat. Please take your leave, duke. This place is only for the Nusesalars. Death comes for us all. This is barbaric. We could disturb it. Get us some party going. But minority vassal opinion is going to go down. Or we can just go with 50 piety and be gone. Nah, we'll just take that. Look at his. Look at his face. Look at that face. That's the face of absolute disbelief. So I didn't want to click that. Where did my befriend scheme thing go? I swear we got it from something. Could negotiate an alliance with the boy. Would give us some more unity. Sure, we'll do it. Why don't we have an alliance yet? Marvelous news. Are you a good commander? Not good enough. Not good enough. But keeping people happy in a clan government is gonna be... Crazy difficult. But it's... Really a lot more important than it is elsewhere. For sure. Number of knights go up. And we're gonna put all... <laughs> Excuse me, all of our sons are gonna be forced. Our brother... Everyone. Our money income isn't great. I'm I'm not happy with this. We're not getting a lot of money. We don't have a lot of soldiers. Like the only saving grace we have is all the alliances that we have. So maybe you cannot be personally powerful as a clan ruler. Not very anyway. Maybe it is through the large family. I mean it would make sense. Okay. So we don't really have stress that we need to lose. Chance to be seen with the great and the good. We're gonna go for that. Snag us some nice prestige. I don't care about forming good relationships around there. Ah. She recognizes true intellect, I see. Is that the bride? Might just be. I think that is the bride. Oh, look at last. We're, we're looking... To enter into harmonious with our clan. I think I'm on this on your side, Saruka. Oof. I'll just nod along, I don't care. Bah, I prefer Murad's positive thinking. I will not get involved. I literally don't want to build a relationship with these people up there. Appoint a tax collector. Oh no, our tax collector died. We gain one Diplomacy Lifestyle Perk unlock, potentially. Shut up. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, we could become approachable for 15 years. I mean... Only the courtly vassals won't like it. We'll go with this. One perk point. Oh, there we go. We got it. But let's get ourselves a new tax collector. Good aptitude. We have a lot of good aptitude. Let's take the youngest. With the good aptitude. Okay, suddenly... We're getting 422. I don't remember what we had before, but it was less. Definitely less. Alright, so we got a diplomacy perk point. So what can we do? 
benevolent intent. No. Befriend. We'll take this. This is what I'm looking for. We need to befriend. That's all I need out of that trait. Maybe that's what we got to do. As a clan ruler, we might need to go a little bit into diplomacy lifestyle every single time, no matter what we take, just so we can get the befriend thing. Um, yeah, so domain, domain levies, taxes, everything goes down because we're above our domain levy. It's just really, 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 really bad. We need to get rid of that. But I don't want to throw everything at our, our sons all the time. So we'll have to... I'll have to think about this a little bit. Let's see now. Let's go befriend some people. To increase our incomes here. So we're gonna go into our realm. Actually, I don't care about our vassals. I only care about the taxpayers. Those are the... They are not necessarily the same thing. Vassal and taxpayer might be different. So this guy has 800. I don't care so much about him. 600. Don't care so much about him. I, these are already sorted by power level, kind of. So... Actually... He's too young. Can I befriend you? Do I have a chance? 25%. That's not enough. But we're pushing him... We're pushing him toward seeing things a little bit more. Our way. You want a seat on the council. What are you good at? Nothing. You could replace. Who could you replace? No one. Oh, we're gonna go with this. Maybe. No. Is there something better? Oh! Wait a moment, there's gold? We'll just go steal some gold out there. In this party. <laughs> Never went to a wedding and came back with more money than I brought in. Not once in my life. Congratulations again and goodbye. So now we go back. We're going to have some more travel events ahead of us, which is nice. And we can station another men at arms regiment, but it doesn't really matter because we're going to give this up soon anyway. But for for that time being, we'll just do this. How's our control level here yet? Still not super ideal. Still giving us some negatives, but we're getting there. We're getting there. We're still building. All good. And we're not that weak anymore either. 1,400 isn't so bad. The only really big ones are the ones that have high stewardship. And just have everything. Like this guy, he is a complete menace. He has basically everything in his own holding. Like that's, that's a powerhouse. That's a one-man powerhouse that's crazy we can't even dream of something like that so how do we get our crown we need a crown we need to become a kingdom so what do we need illustrious or above three or more duchies realm size 30 or more we are at 13 and something just went away by pressing escape i want to escape out of that but i think it was the betrothal thing so we'll just go accept because of course we want that uh, we can have a lover and invite her along, but she's actually kind of horrible at everything, so... Um, well, we're lustful. She's offering herself freely on the road. Okay, let's let's get... Chat Kati along. Like, that sounds like some sort of AI. <laughs> ah, we got a new lover. I mean, that's... It's not great, it's not bad. Okay, let's check uh, the kingdom titles around here. Oh boy. What do we need? We need to control 8 out of 10. No, we need to control 10 out of 8. We currently have... No, we need to control 10. We currently have 8. That's what it means. Gee. And we need two duchy titles, whereas we currently have one. But we could create another one, I think. If we take more of that. So, who's holding that? Us. Huh? Oh, no. Not us. This guy. But it's within our realm, so that doesn't really matter. Why can't I create... Ah, uh, it's a kingdom title. 
That's the Dutchie back. Ah, okay, that's checked. So we have three and we need two. So we only need money, basically. Okay, so this kingdom here, Dailam, is the most likely for us. We hold the most here. So we should definitely check into going deeper in this. So we could attack her again once she's kind of done. And we're done with our little... Oh, we're done. Very good. So we're going to go take this bit. Link up what we have. Oh, that's actually just one piece. And we can't because they're of the same faith. And we do not have the piety. Oh, that's a big loss. Are you of the same? Um, yes, you're of the same. Mm. Ish, okay. Time for a pilgrimage. We need some piety to, to get this show on the road here. We gotta... We gotta... We gotta, we gotta get that going. Let's finish our travels first. We gain 150. There's a chance someone gets wounded and dies. Eh. We can just have whoever that is die. I don't even care. Is that my caravan master? Maybe. I won't risk my life for this. That's just the truth. And I'm not going to risk my dude either, so... Sorry, not sorry? <laughs> we gain emaciated? Oh, no. Okay. Alright, we have to take it. Because we cannot afford this. I mean, we can. But every Entourage member gets this. Also, every trust member. What little we have goes to me. Okay, now we're gonna all live with emaciated. We are now all malnourished. Oh yeah, our wife has the exact correct look for that event. I'm so sorry. All right, let's check our succession again. What do you get? This. I mean, this is a good one, but it doesn't really help us if we... That's 400... Dang. Okay, now! Alright! I did not see that one coming. <laughs> Alright! Duke Sherwin I of uh, Bavandid Shadam has abandoned his mortal coil at 27 years of age. He died in his sleep. A meek and bashful man, he will be remembered by many as a submissive, sometimes flustered ruler. Duke Sherwin ascends to the throne. Having mastered many skills, he is sure to be admired by his subjects. What skills have you mastered? Okay, we'll continue. So, the Iranian Intermezzo, this just kind of keeps popping up every time you get a new ruler. Uh, this kind of happens, and oh boy, let's assign some taxpayers here, all of them, literally. Oh boy, that is really bad. How's this place looking? Okay, we're going to put the guy in who hates us a little bit less. 148, 700. Okay, we're going to put in a guy who hates us a little bit. Where we can actually do something. No alliance is powerful clan vassal. No alliance is powerful clan vassal. Okay, we're going to put in our uncle. Or... Our vassal. And... I'm gonna put in this guy. Because he's just slightly better than the other one. And we're gonna put him to... Yeah, control increase is still fine. Let's see. Can we get a better steward from our strong vassals here? No. Can we get a better chancellor from our strong vassals? No. Okay, so... 
All right, no panic. That is very unexpected. I didn't. I have. Ooh, I don't like that. <laughs> uh, let's find ourselves a teacher who is ideally someone who's good in in this. He's actually good in everything, so we're just gonna take him as our guardian. Uh, our player heir is our half brother and vassal, and we need some secondary spouses. Uh, we definitely need some alliance power in here. Um, let's see, 940, that's internal? No. 820. I mean, she's quick, but she's also disfigured. Scarred and disfigured. I mean, that's not the problem. That's not a problem for us. I think we'll take her. So we get something going. And now we need to look into our own realm and try and get some alliances going here if we can. Okay, let's push that house unity here. Let's negotiate all those internal alliances. Okay, he won't accept. He will accept. Like, let's get all these going, very first thing. Let's get all these internal alliances going. This guy hates our guts. But I'm his primary heir. So... Well... That pretty much means death. Could demand his conversion. Gains us a hundred piety. Ah. Uh, is there an alliance we can negotiate? Yep. Okay. Let's find us some more secondary spouses here. All by alliance power. Luckily, there's actually a pretty good amount of decent ones right there. So that's not... That's not too shabby. 712? Why are you above? It's crazy. Um, back, please. I want to take the hail one. I mean, pretty is good, but hail is also good. And they are actually a little bit more powerful than these. I don't understand why. We'll go with that. And my ear is itching. Why is my ear itching? Ah. Okay. Let's continue very slowly. And there he comes. Oh, there are two of them. Oh, three of them. Oh, boy. Oh, no. He's not going to do an alliance with us. This one is. So we'll get that in quick. If we can. But that doesn't help us all that much. These two are a problem. Okay, he's already considering an alliance proposal from us. So maybe he's going to take it. Come on. Take that proposal. Okay, he took it. Okay, so this guy is the last holdout here. Why won't you accept this? Opinion and his faith differs from us. Opposing struggles. He's like everything bad. Let's go for some conversion, maybe. Oh, <laughs> kindly ask them to convert. Blessed be Allah. So, okay, he took that. That immediately lowers the discontent. That's very good. We can't ask him to join our side because we are a child. We are a child. But that is a little bit closer now. So, I don't think we can get this away. His opinion of us is just, it's just what it is, you know. So now we need... Uh, is there a strong vassal who doesn't absolutely despise us? Like this guy kind of doesn't hate us. 
to extol his virtues, which we cannot. Because at this point, we're pretty decent on internal alliances. Like, only this guy and this guy, who could together completely overthrow us. No problem. Like, we have, we have nothing left. We have this left. And that is still reduced by low control. We're working on control, so this is going to go away soon. Our stewardship's terrible. Um, let's maybe... Let's maybe see if we can't get another potential extra spouse here. Huh? Let's reset the defaults. What's, what's going on here? Why do we not see anything? Okay. Ah, oh, right. We can only have one betrothed as a child. The secondary spouses come later. So we got her for the moment. Okay. That that mask on the child looks so incredibly creepy. I just realized. I never even seen that before. Okay. That's, that's kind of crazy. All right. So we are... Oh, we're not great. We are not great. We could boost ourselves a little bit by pumping one of those higher, but... We're slowly rebuilding. We're getting there. We're getting there. Alright. Okay, I think for the YouTube viewers, uh, I'm gonna stop the recording here. And I thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you got any questions, leave them down in the comments. And for everyone over on Twitch, let's keep going.